Don by Noon Podcast. Today we're talking digestion with Wade Lightheart. You're listening to the Done by Noon Podcast. A podcast for entrepreneurs who want to achieve more by noon than others in a full day. Serial entrepreneur Dave Ruel and his co-host Chris Lopez share the strategies that will help you optimize your productivity, performance, and lifestyle so you can reach new heights in your business and life. So if you're ready to become the most efficient and effective entrepreneur you know, you're you're in in the the right right place. place. Welcome to the show. Dave, without Lopez, Lopez had a power had a power outage, and I'm here with Wade Lightheart, my man. You're still muted, Wade. Oh no, you're ready, back. I'm ready to be here. I'm I'm, I'm unmuted yeah. now and ready to fly. You know me. If I don't have a mute <laughs> button on, it gets out of control real quick. So thanks for having ready, me on the show. Great to be here. Ready it's so to great fly to, to the Zamner Zone. You know it. Oh my God. I'm so happy that you finally have going to have a product with the word Zamner. And, and, and Zamner is, is, a, is a word that you and Matty G, I think, came up with moons and moons ago that, that pretty much says like it's the ultimate of ultimate, right? That's pretty much what it means, right? Yeah. It's kind of that place that, you know, as a human being, it's kind of like the, we, we call the complete nonlinear where nothing makes sense, but it's so darn fun that you can't, you, you, you want to be there. It's kind of like almost like an, an adult version of a childhood playground. And uh, Xamner has been a word that we've kept. Uh, we first invented it, I think, when we went to uh, Panama back in 15 years ago. And uh, we were in the Zamner zone then. We didn't speak the language. We're in another country. We didn't know what was going on. We're trying to run a business. We're on the, like, it was the Zamner zone. There was just, it just nothing made sense, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a word that stuck around. And I, I got to get it, get accustomed to at my time at Bioptimizers. And I always loved it. And when you were talking about Zamner juice, the new product you're going to have, I mean, we're going to talk about it later, but. Yeah, I mean, I was like, yes, finally. Dude, so good to have you on the show. Uh, I mean, so good to reconnect to because we haven't seen, we, 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 I mean, feels like we now with social media, we kind of follow like what's going on, but we haven't talked like actually face to face in a while. Yeah. Uh, Chris can be here today because he has a major power outage in Costa Rica. So he's in Costa Rica. So he's facing some real, you know, Central American problems right now. And yeah, he just texted me. He's like, yeah, internet is out. It's nationwide. So it's just going to be you and I, my friend. But so, so good to see you, man. Yeah. You're in LA. You're in Venice. I'm in Venice Beach, California, living the dream that I set forth for myself 33 years ago as a 15-year-old reading Arnold Schwarzenegger magazines and Joe Weider things and imagine training at Gold's Gym with all the legends and the whole bodybuilding journey that you and I both uh, share a, mm-hmm. a common element. And, uh, you know, it's I guess the, the long-term message is it was a long, slow route to get here, but I set that goal. And, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes. When you get there, uh, it's it's not really getting there. It's the who you become on the way. But that was hundred percent, and that that was always your big picture. That was your goal. Like it was that you had that 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 vivid vision of you living at Ven- in Venice Beach, California, training at Gold's Gym, being like there and at the mecca, and you're doing it now. You're living the so. It, how, how do you do the house? Is it the bioptimized house or what? Or the it bio is. house? Yeah, so What's we call the it the bio home and um, the bio home. Yeah, so it's literally uh, I call it the you know four stories of glory. And um, <laughs> what's interesting, of course, when I got here, so you know, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You, you're, I, I got here, I'm ready. I got my house. I did the immigration. I went. I, I immigrated during the most difficult time ever. I had some border issues. Like it was chaos to get here. I finally get here, and I'm training. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's next to me in the gym in the morning. My dream comes true. This happens for a month, and then COVID hits. They lock down everything. The gym's closed. Everything's closed. I went to <laughs> Sedona for three months because I'm like, okay, I kicked out, and then, and then they opened for a week, and that we didn't know it was going to be open for a week. They opened back again, so I came back. The neighborhood that my house was in is destroyed. I mean, it is a wreck from homeless people. There's fights outside between. It's crazy. I'm like, I can't live here. I got to move. And then serendipitously, uh, a friend of mine, we we walked down this street one night. He's like, yeah, let's go down this street. And there was this 
It was like in movies where there's like this, ah, you know, with the angels singing, and there was this brand new home sitting there, and it's 9.45 at night, and there's a guy, the door's open, and there's a light on, and there's a guy standing, and there's a for lease on. I said, like, what is this place? He's like, yeah, it just came on the market. You want to take a look? And I'm like, okay. And it was really designed as a startup building, and it had a studio downstairs, and it had the living spaces, and then it had a rooftop deck. And it was literally my total dream home, my dream project, everything that I wanted to, to record, to live this kind of biologically optimized lifestyle, put in the biohacking gear, put in all the recovery stuff, and, and <laughs> a gym on the roof because I couldn't go to gold. So I built a gym on the roof, and now people in the neighborhood – know me as the guy with the gym on his roof. It's like, you know, instead of nice car, it's like, hey, man, nice gym. <laughs> and so uh, I call that God's I gym. I, I left the L out for losers. And now we just have God's gym. So I'm literally training wow. in, in, in the, under the sun half the time, outdoors, um, in, the, in, the, in the fresh air, like the original bodybuilders of the golden era that came here to do that. And, and so I, I get it now. I, I get why they were doing it. So you never know what your biggest adversaries might become the greatest uh, opportunities. You just got to stay with it. Yeah, man, you have the gods. So the, the, you're closer to the gods. You have Franco looking over you, making sure you do your reps and your Correct. biceps. Yeah, we're just down the street properly. from the old Gold's Gym, too. It's still like you can still see the faded sign where it was. It's like I'm literally, I can walk down there in five minutes. You go eat at the firehouse? Of course. We've got the firehouse, you know, and then we got, you know, Gold's. We got the bulletproof labs to, you know, to go do Half, the biohacking. We got Air One organic food over here. And of course, um, Muscle Beach is just down the street. Cafe Gratitude? You hit Cafe Gratitude often? Of course, yeah. Cafe Gratitude. The I whole love Cafe years. Gratitude. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Man. Dude, it's so good to see you. I mean, you and I, you know, go way back now. Uh, partners yeah. at Bioptimizers, uh, you know, for, for, for multiple years. And, uh, and I mean, you're the founder, you and Maddie G, founders of Bioptimizers. I joined in with you guys, Run Forces, in 2014. Yes. And we rebranded, made it, made it great again. Well, let's, and, uh, let's just, let's just look for your listening off audience, because you won't toot your own, you're, you're much too humble for that. But the reality was, is, you know, we were under extreme changing market conditions. You know, we had kind of moved away from the bodybuilding world. We we're trying to mm -hmm. find a new marketing standpoint. We had these amazing products that transform people's lives, but that's not good enough. You've got to have systems in place. You've got to have better marketing, better branding. It's a different world from when we started in 2004, Matt and I started. It was 10 years later, and we were behind the times. And, you know, you came in at a, at a really, it was, a, it was, we were at a crossroads. We didn't know what we were going to do. We didn't know how we were going to make the next step. And you had been working with Matt mm -hmm. on some other projects with some very, publicly successful figures and you came in and, and just changed the, 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 the look, the feel and started implementing some of the key systems that led us to the kind of awareness of why a systemized approach to maximize efficiency, minimize the waste and to really um, become an effective entrepreneur without burning your life to the ground. And uh, so I'm so glad to see that you've done the done by noon thing. And because you're kind of, you're kind of the ultimate lifestyle entrepreneur. Uh, there's so much kind of magic or fake magic about the, you know, rise and grind for 14 hours a day and burn <laughs> yourself out and burn down your relationships and destroy your health. And then maybe you get a buyout 10 years down the road or you just give up, go to Burning Man get stoned out of your mind and try to forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's really the trend out there. And you kind of reverse that trend. And so we're very grateful. Bioptimizers might not exist, probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for your input. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. You know, it was, I remember like, you know, when you guys, you know, I was, uh, you know, doing in business with Matty G and you, you guys had, had, had so Matt, it was not Bioptimizers, it was Mazzimes Inc. And uh, when you came in, it's like, listen, Dave, like we need, like fresh eyes on the brand on, you know, what we're doing. And I was sold on the product. I was using the product. I was already a long-term user of the product. And 
I was like, you know, the, the thing is that it's such a great product, but it is not put like like you, you, we need to make it shine, you know, better than that. Like it deserves better and a greater audience. And I think we've done a great job. I mean, you guys have reached new heights this year. I think you cracked the the eight figure uh, uh, revenues and uh, in revenue. And I think you guys are going for. Uh, for, for multiple this year and, and double the business. And I mean, obviously Maddie and Matt and I are, are, I would say we're in constant contact on DM on Instagram and we we're having fun, but you know, we talk, I think about once a month and he keeps me posted on how things are going, man. And it's just, uh, I'm so, so happy. It makes me so, where's my heart to see like, because you guys work hard on this. Like you, I mean, it's been a long time and we're talking about a business that's, 17 years old now you know and you've put in the time the effort and the care and the thing that i that sold me on by is why i said yes was the care that you put in the formulations of the product like they're not just a white label thing that you know white label supplement that you know like everybody has they market the me too the, product right yeah. yeah they market the shit out of it but really it's a bad product you i mean maslime is just I mean, it's a beauty. It's an absolute, and you can, and that's the thing that blows my mind is that you always thrive to make it better and better. And I really like I, when I was at Biop that I, I remember I was like, guys, like you don't need to always like add more stuff because for me it was like oh, more logistics, more regulations, more different things on the labels. And but you guys were like relentless, it's like no, we need to make it always, always the best. And that's why you keep doing all the time. And man. It, it that's what makes spy optimizers a great company is about is that you know that every single product that you guys put out you know the level of detail of of attention that has been put and testing oh so testing i mean you and matt are test nuts that <laughs> has, <we> are. <laughs> I mean, you know that has been that this product has been has been put through you know and that you've been doing that consistently it just it's just so great to see the success, continued success of bioptimizers so i'm happy that you know i'm happy that i was part of it at one point and was able to to help you guys turn it around and and do that but uh yeah man so we're going to talk about digestion today we're really going to focus on digestion because you have an interesting story also on digestion because you and i as you said earlier we have a common you know past as as bodybuilders and you did something that I, I got to be honest, Wade. Like when you when, when you first told me about that, and you, when you told me the story, I thought you were full of shit. I thought like it was like no man, it's just not possible because I'm I'm a me head. I mean, I come from the hardcore bodybuilding world where you know it's more you know the world of more more protein, yeah. more food, more cardio, more heavy weights, you know, more everything. And you were like you were taking a different approach. So first of all, and you're you achieved like crazy success as a bodybuilder you want pretty much like everything here on the local circuit in canada you want pretty much like like almost everything and then you competed in the uh, mr universe competition yep. but the thing that's crazy is that you competed as a vegan bodybuilder yep. and you are doing that eating 80 gram with eating 80 grams of protein a day so yep. vegetarian protein vegan protein and i was like this is for me, as a bodybuilder, he needs he needed to eat his chicken breast and all you know all this animal protein. It's like this is insane. This can't be done. But then what you said is like, no, it's how much you absorb of that protein, like how much protein you're actually eating, but you're you're not digesting most of it. And you're the living proof because you can just take your your photo. You were absolute. You were big and ripped. I mean, you were absolutely ripped on eighty grams of protein a day and big and muscular and i was like you know what i need to figure out like look into more of this approach this is when i started like actually looking into enzymes you know starting uh taking the enzymes and looking into a more i would say balanced and sustainable approach you know to eating like you proved me that you don't have to eat crazy amounts to in order to get great results and actually the amount of food that we're eating as humans that we think we need we're just overeating like pretty much like all the time, right? So um, just the, the way to incorporate mass lines was great. So to bring us back to that that world, like when you made really the switch to, first of all, go vegan. Uh, but you're, you're still 100% vegan right now, right? Or you, you have the occasional steak or you still... 
Uh, no no flesh. Uh, I will have no uh, eggs occasionally, yeah. and you know, I'll have pizza with my friends. So there's cheese or whatever, something like that, and uh, you know, or, so. But no, no, no flesh of any kind. Haven't had any flesh. Uh, it's it'll be twenty years this June, I believe. That's crazy. Yeah. So what made you? What made you switch? What what like? What made you switch from going like? Typical bodybuilder to a guy eating a comp- like Mr. Universe competitor eating 80 grams of protein a day. Yeah. And so I'd like to say I'm, I'm, I'm dietary agnostic. I'm not a vigilante vegan. I don't espouse that everybody should follow my pathway. It came as, uh, you know, I was, we both grew up in, a, I would say a hardcore bodybuilding province. You know, you get yeah. to New Brunswick and stuff. I mean, that is a boat is hardcore. It's still like 1975 there when it comes to like bodybuilders are <laughs> still like awesome. Yes. It's very, very passionate sport and it produced a lot of great champions. And so I, I was growing up on that, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, hunting, fishing, meet many times a day and pound the iron till you, 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 you can't walk, you know, and that was great. And I loved it. And it was a great way to keep myself out of trouble because otherwise I would have probably just killed myself doing some other reckless pursuit and almost did many times. Um, <clears throat> so what happened is, you know, first in, I went to the, the nationals in 1998 and uh, that was, you know, I'd won the New Brunswick and went to the nationals. And, and, and then I realized at that point, you know, Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates had, were kind of the, the the masters of the scene at that point. Uh, Dorian was finishing up his career, the mass kind of, and, monsters. And, and 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 now Ronnie Coleman was coming. And I and I looked at the sport objectively. And I think if I had anything that was going for me in bodybuilding, is I had a certain level of objectivity about myself that I think a lot of people don't have. And I said am I going to be Ronnie Coleman or am I going to be Dorian Yates? And I'm like, no, like it doesn't matter how many drugs I take or how hard I train or what I do. I'm not going to be there. And so I left competitive bodybuilding because it became a drug cult. Essentially it became a, it, 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 your success wasn't just your genetics. It was also how much drugs you would be able to tolerate, you know, like your liver capability. (laughs) Right. And I was like, God, that's, that's not, not, that's not why I got into the sport. So I went off and, and, you know, lived a kind of a raucous life. So I got into the health industry, opened a supplement store, did a personal training, business, took my credentials and turned it into a career. And, but then these, I, I got into meditation and I read a book called The Holy Science. And The Holy Science was a, was a book by this Indian yogi. And it, it suggested doing a plant-based diet as a way to improve your meditation. And he had a whole physiological reason for it. And I thought, hey, you know what? That's kind of crazy. I'll try that for two weeks. So, and I was concerned I was going to dry up and blow away, right? <laughs> like, oh God, I'm going to shrink and, you know, I'm going to lose all my muscle and all that stuff. Well, two weeks went by, I was fine. And then I went two weeks more and I was fine. I said, well, I'll try another month. I went another month. I said, you know, I don't just don't think I'm going to eat meat again. And I never did. That, that's really how it went. So it was nothing, no grand thing. It was just an experiment and the experiment worked and it kept going. And then um, I, I still had never let go of my dream to compete in the Mr. Universe because I had watched Pumping Irons and, and, and still at the end of my soul, I felt that I hadn't mm. fulfilled my potential. And in one of the writings of my spiritual teacher said, if something isn't existed for you, it will be created if you're following the righteous path. And I'm like, okay, well, that's a pretty radical statement. I'm going to test it, see if this guy's right. So I said, I'm going to become a national bodybuilding champion with no drugs, and I'm going to do it on a plant-based diet. Everybody told me I was crazy. My coach told me I was crazy. My friends told me I was crazy. My body, everybody said, that's not possible. It can't be done. There was no plant-based protein, nothing, right? So I, I was applying a meat-eating mentality to this concept. It's like, so I was trying to think like a, a meat-eating bodybuilder, only competing as a vegetarian. Long story short, I, I made my first contest. I won all of, all of my everything in my first show overall and my class and the po- best poser. And that was awesome. I was like, okay, first show. It was a local show. I went to the Western Canadians. I came second to a guy by the name of Kevin Weiss, who 
was probably the best yes. natural bodybuilder I've ever met. He's also a world champion in powerlifting and a world champion. He's a freak. He's a, that's what I was saying. Kevin is a strong dude. He's a super, he's a great guy too. And just an awesome person. And so I came up against him. I lost, I lost to him in, in that contest. And I said, okay, even though I qualified for the nationals, I needed another year. I said, I need another year under my belt to, to have a chance to beat this guy. So, the next year came and I went through the whole plan again, went to the nationals. And here's where the magic part is. For the first time in 56 years, the IFBB changed the weight classes. They, they, they now created two weight classes, which put Kevin in the weight class above me. And I became in the weight class behind him. We both won the titles at the Nationals. We both qualified for the Mr. Universe. He didn't even bother going. And uh, so anyways, I got to go to the Mr. Universe contest and, and met up with a friend that we both know, uh, Adrian Noel from New Brunswick, who also got to go to that. So we spent time in yes, India. At the I Mr. see him all the, he lives, he lives literally 20 minutes from my house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so him and, I, him and I shared a hotel in Mumbai, India. And of course, the contest ended up in India, which was also unusual. And of course, my spiritual teacher is India. Now, here's the, here's the part that people don't understand. After that contest, so I get to Mr. Universe, I got 13th in the world. Not that great, but pretty good. And I was there. And after the contest, I gained 42 pounds of fat and water in 11 weeks. My body shut down. I had been basically dieting for 11 months that year because I won my the the Western Canadians, I won the national championships, and then I went to the worlds. And that started my diet started in January, and the world, the universe was in November. I crashed and I had been dieting about six months the year before. So my body shut down. I it was a disaster. And I met a doctor, Dr. Michael Brown. He was the picture of health. He was like in his 70s, he had clear skin. He was so vibe. He's like everything you would want to be as a senior citizen. And I'm like, wow, what does this guy know? And then he said to me, I went to him and I went to a whole webinar seminar with him. He introduced me to this concept. You don't need all this protein. This is the problem. You don't need all this. And I'm like, okay. I went to him after and I said, hey, man, what am I doing wrong? Right? I'm, I've got the best coach. I got Spartan discipline. It took me 16 years to get here. Like, I, I don't. What am I doing wrong? And he said something that changed my life. He said, Wade, you've learned to build the body from the outside in. I am going to teach you how to build the body from the inside out. And, you know, I had a background in exercise physiology, nutrition, personal training, worked in the supplement industry, had my own. So no one ever told me that. What do you mean out inside out? Mm -hmm. He introduced me to the concept of digestive health, enzymes, probiotics, optimizing the transport of the food from your mouth and your gut into the cells where you need it. And he said, you're, the problem is, is you're, you're getting all inflamed from all this food that you're not digesting. And we've got to get your digestion fixed or this is going to kill you. And I said, okay. So I did it. Within six months, I regained my physique, but I felt so much better. I didn't have the brain fog. I didn't have the joint pain that was kind of associated with training at that level. Um, I could do all the things. I, my sleep dropped. My skin looked better. I mean, everything was better. It was like I turned, like it's like I became 20 again. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Now, the only challenge was, is he was dealing with mostly sick people, people who were dying, people who were on their last legs, can't, you know, all the, the all the big things that take people out, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, all this stuff. He was rebuilding people the same way. And I said, that's great, but this isn't really a performance based. And so Matt and I got together. Matt said, you know, you got a great story. This is crazy. I mean, like a vegetarian drug free guy competing at the Mr. Universe. Let's let's make an online course. And we started selling courses and that took off. And then I said, you know, we really need to create our own product that will really work on metabolizing and digesting protein. And so we got to work on it and we created Mass Signs was our very first supplement product. And we designed it to break down protein as well as virtually anything. There's 17 different enzymes in this thing. This is a very serious for me. In fact, when we built it and the guys that helped us manufacture it, the guys in the lab coats, they're like, guys, you can't, like, nobody makes a product like this. This is too expensive. Like, you're never going to make money on it. We said, like, we don't care. We don't care about the money. We want it to work. We'll figure the money out later. And yeah. it did. 
And you know, I always say, excellence never goes out of style, right? The best never goes out of style. And so we did that and we started- I remember when I, I bought in- Yeah. We, 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 when I bought into to, to Manslimes, the thing that I was like, this is, when I, I, I saw the cost of, of, the, of Manslimes, of a bottle of Manslimes, like, this is absolutely insane. This is crazy because you're you like, so hold on, let's be honest. And we're going to reveal the truth about the supplement industry. Most of the things that you buy, like you're going to see whatever, like let's say another enzymes, the cost is probably two bucks mm -hmm. on a bottle. They sell it to you for, you know, $30, right? The cost of Mazzimes, I mean, I'm not going to reveal the cost, but it's, <laughs> it's more than most people are selling on their shelf. And, I mean, that's just, this is insane. And I was like, how, like, and now I understood why actually the product was more expensive than others. Like, yeah, because obviously you guys, and even the, the profit margin was, was not sky high. And I was like, I couldn't believe like the cost of these products. I was like, you know, but I'm, I believe so much in the products because I've been using it that, you know, let's do it. But yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the living proof of what you guys are doing. Yeah, pretty amazing. And so uh, we sold it. And then we started coaching all these different bodybuilders around the world. We had a 15,000 clients over the four years. And we started getting the feedback of how to get optimization, whether they were on a meat-based diet, a plant-based diet, a pagan, a vegan, a paleo, whatever, a keto, the Matt's a keto guy, right? He's, yeah. Him and I are like mm -hmm. polar opposites on the food uh, paradigm. And, <laughs> He's and, all our keto now, yeah. Yeah, and so... We, 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 we ended up moving, we've optimized that formula two more times since that time. And we, it's, it's absolutely now a world renowned brand. Everybody knows that it. it's kind of the gold standard in the industry for, for digestive health. And of course we developed an entire suite of digestive health products later on with our probiotics and our hydrochloric acid and then our gluten guardian and the intestinal cleansers, the parasite. And then we, and, and when you came in, we, we rebranded as a digestive health company, you know, by optimizer started there. And then now of course we've moved into the nervous system and now we're into brain optimization with our nootropics. We're, and so it, 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 we always were there as, as business people, as athletes, as coaches, to, to what can we get the most out of this? We still got the bodybuilding mentality. Like, let's build Ferraris. Let's drive around the track at 200 miles an hour. Let's go four-wheel driving. Let's do it all. Uh, and then what do you need in order to support that kind of craziness that we embrace as people that, that just go for it all? And uh, that's been <laughs> our company ever since. Yeah, man. And I think that that's the nature, I think, of, un, you know, entrepreneurs and, and bodybuilders. You know, I do a lot of parallels between athletes and entrepreneurs because there's that notion of, you know, performance, of speed, of, of, of achieving things that haven't been achieved. And But I think after a while, and I think you're the perfect example of that, is that you go from a place of, you know, of, of more to a place of efficiency where you're like, okay, well, how can I do that for, and, and sustainability as well. How can I do that for a long time, you know? And then you, you're, you're, you start shifting and you see a lot of, of, of bodybuilders do that when they hit their forties, for example, and they're not in their peak. They're like, okay, well, how can I now switch that to a more of a longevity, you know, uh, journey? Sometimes it's too late because a lot of them beat themselves up pretty bad. I mean, look, look at it, Ronnie Coleman. I, oh man. Yeah. Every time I look at, at Ron, I mean, Ronnie's like he's done, right? He can't. Uh, can he walk now? I think he's in the no, wheelchair. No, yeah, now. he's had like I don't know, fifteen surgeries. I mean, I mean, yes, he hit the peak. Um, you know, Dorian Yates kind of yeah. injured himself. He's he's made a he's turned the corner and got the health side now and the spiritual side. But there's yes. just a laundry list of guys that lost their lives. Flex Wheeler lost a leg recently. You right, know, all the guys that I worshipped, half of them are dead or in yeah. a very dire state of conditions. And I was lucky, you know, I remember after we did that, it took us four years to master it. And then I came back. That's when I came back, we did the world championships and was doing it on 85 grams of protein. I came, got fifth in the world. Didn't have the blowout after, didn't have the gateway game, felt great. And I was like, okay, now we can take this to the world. Now I've got something. We created the awesome health system. And now I'm almost 50, right? I'm still... Still, you know, hitting, mm -hmm. you know, three pies you know, aside, ass to the ankles like, kind of training, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's fun.
Yeah, that's why you know, like, you look up Wayne. I mean, you know, you're you're just you, you didn't change. I've known you for you know years and years, and you haven't changed. Like, you're still the same dude. Like, like you look the same. You're. I think you actually look even more in shape now than you were actually a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And I think like you're the living proof of of everything you're doing. But you know, back to digestion. I think the the one thing with digestion, I don't I, like as a younger dude. I remember like it was not something I was careful about. Like I could digest a rock, no problem. Like you know, no problem. Now you know, heading into my forties, it's a different story, very different stories. And I realize that it affects my not only my energy levels, but my sleep. My, I mean, that's a crazy thing. My sleep has been really, really like shaken by my by digestion and i realized that when that happens let's say i have a bad meal and i always take my enzymes i have probiotics um i take some gluten guardian too when let's say i have pizza or stuff like that but i it, it just like I, I it affects me and if i don't take like enough i realize that you know i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna have a problem problem like with with my my energy and my sleep so it is a problem that more, unfortunately we re- not we realized too late but that happens. We could have, I could have been more proactive with it. You know, now I realize that, okay, that shit is real and I need to do something. Right. So how does it work with enzymes? Like you say, like there's kind of an enzyme quota kind of that we're born with. And after a while, like, especially with the eating that we're doing, and I think us on bodybuilders who were eating six to seven meals a day, I think we go through that quota pretty fast and we end up actually having to supplement, you know, earlier than most people, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I would say bodybuilders get the aging process just twice as fast as everybody else because, you know, we, we push our bodies harder. We eat more food. We, 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 yeah. it's kind of like if you're driving a, um, an Indy car, you got to change the tires, the gas, the oil, the engines, you got to just keep repairing everything all the time. And eventually you crash and burn, right? It's just the way you live. And I think every bodybuilder gets to a point where they realize, you know, your the performance and this is true of athletics. Athletics is the only sport that you're done by 35, you're done, it's over, like, that's it, you know, and it's a very curious thing, because to hit those physical peaks at that really, really high end, it's very, very, it's, there's a cost to that, and Mm -hmm. what the cost is, is what's enzymatic capabilities, and so for our listeners who have never heard of what enzymes are, and I, I am on a mission to one day redefine what we call food, because I'm, I'm going to take people back. Enzymes control every catalytic chemical process in your body from thinking to blinking. Every There's over 25,000 enzymatic transactions that they know of, probably more than that. Everything. So to digest your food, to make your brain work, to blink your eyes, to flex a muscle, you know, to remove a toxin from the body, to, to make your skin grow, to make your muscles grow, right? To... Uh, Everything requires enzymes. And so there was a guy by the name of Dr. Edward Howe who said we have an enzyme bank account. So this is the bank account that imagine uh, enzymes are your metabolic check bank account. And what happens is we are drawing that down all the time without replacing it. And the reason that is, is because all living organisms have an enzymatic potential or capacity or bank account. So the difference between a stone, a plant, and a person is the total amount of enzymes and metabolic checks or enzymatic checks that you can write. Stone doesn't have any, plants have some, people have a lot. Now, every species on the planet, cows, horses, they eat grass. Bears might eat salmon and blueberries. They're an omnivore. Those are herbivores. And then you get, you know, uh, tigers that eat nothing but meat. All of them eat their food in a live state. Carol, and Carol, Carol Baskin's husband. Yes. So when you eat something live, when you eat something live, you not only get the protein, the fats, the carbohydrates, but you absorb the living enzymes of that organism and the living probiotics of that organism. Now, here's the thing. Humans are the only species on the planet that cook their food. And every piece of cooked food that you have uh, kills the bacteria, the good, the bad, the ugly. It kills 
the enzymes. And so what happens is your body has to manufacture enzymes in order to digest your food. And it's an incomplete process because you're supposed to, the enzymes are supposed to start breaking the food down as soon as you eat it. Your food goes from your mouth to the upper cardiac portion of the stomach. You've got about 30 to 60 minutes where the enzymes are working on it. Hydrochloric acid comes in after that. That changes the pH. Some enzymes will become activated. Some will be deactivated. Then it leaves the intestinal tract into the lower intestines, and that's where the probiotics, the good, the bad, and the ugly start to work on it. And you have 10% good, 10% bad, 10, uh, 80% opportunist, depending on your diet, depending on what you eat. That's why people get, you know, Montezuma's revenge sometimes when they go to Mexico on vacation, because now they're exposed to pro or bacteria they've never had before, and their body doesn't know what to do. Or they're eating food that's right. different, and their body doesn't know how to break that down, so you have digestive issues. But now, since World War II, we changed the production of food. We, we started growing food on um, mineral deficient soil. We started adding nitrogen to grow it faster. It has less protein. The protein gets given up to grow enzymes and we absorb less minerals and vitamins. And they started putting chemicals on the food, herbicides, pesticides, and fungus, which by the way, kill the bugs by disrupting the enzymatic activity. Right. So how much of that do you need before you kill? So we're taking all that. Then we're taking antibiotics for things when we get sick, which wipe out the good, the bad and the ugly. Then we cook our food. Then we pasteurize our food. Then we add preservatives to the foods and ship it all around the world. So after 80 years of this, we now have a situation where 12 percent of the emergency hospital visits today in the United States is gastrointestinal related issues. A hundred million people are suggest are suffering from digestive conditions on any given day, and 25% of those are on permanent prescription medications that they have to take for the rest of their life to manage the symptoms because they can't break down your food. And the really the definition, and I'm a classically trained sports nutritionist, exercise, went to, did all the stuff, and they give about two paragraphs in every nutrition book on enzymes, and they forget it. But that is what is going to convert your yeah. carbohydrates, your fats, your proteins into either the building blocks or the energy units that your body is. And if you don't, you have that stone in the stomach feeling. Your food doesn't sit there. You wake up in the morning with crusty eyes, bad breath, don't feel like getting out of bed, right? Your skin starts to break out. You, 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 you can't quite remember things like you used to. And you think, oh, I must be getting old. I must be aging. I'm a, you know, this is, and we've accepted this as kind of the normal process. And it's not normal. It's just common. And so, you know, had I not met Dr. Brian and saw what was possible as a senior citizen to live long, to live strong, to be vibrant, to be sharp and to live that way, it might have never happened. But it did. It was so inspirational that I said, you know what, I'm going to dedicate my life to helping the world change their digestion, optimize it so they can do the things that are important to them in their life and put their gifts, their talents, their abilities to have the relationships they want, their family want. And so we, we've never stopped that mission. Both Matt and I have been militant on this. We didn't pay ourselves for 10 years because it was I so know. important. The mission was so important. We always said the mission is more important than the margin, right? And now it, it all turned out well after that. And we've continued to serve the world with our products. But that's, that's, you know, and, and if you, if you're not convinced of the power of enzymes, go check. So you can go check epic.co forward slash digestion. And it's going to lead you to the, um, to the new page, the mad science page, but there's a presentation, a video presentation. And I remember like, actually it's a video that Matt did, uh, a demo he, he did for uh, to show actually how it worked. And there's three pieces of meat, and there's one that is so pretty much he created like um so the liquid that's like what I can't remember what pH threatened is, but it's similar to vinegar, which is yeah a, 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 the kind of the harshest part of digestion. Really, your digestion is much more. It would be better inside your body, but he did it as a test to show that this stuff mm -hmm. actually works. But it was pretty much like the same type of pH you would get in the stomach. And then, like, so you would have the, the one with no enzymes, you know, the piece of meat with mazimes and a piece of meat with mazimes and P3OM. And man, you watch these enzymes and probiotics. I, I really like the one with, I always mix mazimes with P3OM. I never take like just mazimes, it's just the two together. But you see them crushing the meat, like totally digesting the meat, right? Like from there, just the enzymes themselves. So imagine you have that plus, I mean, your digestive. 
uh, you know, powers, internal powers, like imagine how much better you're going to feel, right? And I get, you get a lot that made that question a lot. Like how come like you digest, your, your, your body digests a piece, of, like, the enzymes digest a piece of meat, but actually it doesn't digest, like is it, da- can it damage your internal, like your, your lever or not your lever, your stomach or internal yeah, organ? Question. Yeah, so your intestinal tract and your stomach, particularly your stomach is designed to handle hydrochloric acid. If you took your stomach acid and dropped it on your desk, it would burn a hole right through the desk, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like it would just literally eat the desk. It's that strong. Your body produces this. But your body creates a specialized coating inside your stomach that protects you from the hydrochloric acid. Now, when the hydrochloric acid comes out of the system, there's a thing called bicarbonate buffers, which is a fancy name for minerals, that buffers those acids before it goes into the intestinal tract. So people who have... Uh, dual denal ulcers is what happens is some of the stomach acid is leaking out and not being protected and burning holes in the intestinal tract. Okay. And so if that's a case that you have, you would not want to take mass times. You need to get that fixed first. Uh, you know, go to your doctor, get that fixed because the mass times will actually start working on that piece. You know, so you, that's why we say if you have ulcers or colitis, this is not, or gastritis, don't use the mass times. There's other products mm-hmm. that we have designed for that. But in that case, because this stuff is this stuff is powerful. I mean, like I said, it breaks down, it'll break down virtually any food that you eat. Mass times will break it down. Doesn't matter if it's a plant, doesn't matter if it's a carb, doesn't matter if it's an animal, a fat, whatever, it'll it'll metabolize it. And what that does is that saves your body from manufacturing enzymes. And going back to the bodybuilding story. Because bodybuilders are concerned about building more muscle and they want to build more muscle. So they say, oh, I need to train, but I need more protein. You don't need no more protein. You need aminos to get to the muscle tissue. And there's always a point, you know, you say, oh, I added 50 grams, 100 grams. And you kind of get some gains for a while. And then you hit a ceiling. Guys like, oh, I need more. And then you see guys eating 400, 500 grams of protein a day. Now, here's what they don't tell you. In order for your body to metabolize and turn that into the amino acids, it's going to have to convert muscle tissue into enzymes to break down the food. So what happens is the more muscle you build and the more protein, it becomes a a game of diminishing returns. And you're actually catabolizing the muscle to digest the food. And I think it was uh, Leo Costa um, who did a thing where they were taking strategic times where they were taking their their strength athletes in Bulgaria and they were taking them off all protein for like 10 days. They wouldn't eat any protein for 10 days to kind of retune the system and bring it back up. And what do you do when you don't eat a lot of protein? You save your proteolytic enzymes in the body. You build up your reserve. And then when you ate protein again, it would come back again. So we said, well, why don't we take that principle and just just provide the proteolytic enzymes and we don't have to worry about starving ourselves or doing all these crazy diets and that sort of stuff. And that's what we did. And it worked. And that was the cool, that was the cool thing. And it, it, you know, we tried tested a theory and it worked out. That was a game changer for me because I was scared after I decided to stop competing in bodybuilding in 2010, like that I would start, you know, losing muscle at a very fast rate. And, you know, when you spend that many years building your body, you're like, I don't want to, like, and you see a lot of guys who stop bodybuilding or being competitive or not training like, you know, as hard or eating as much, like really shrink. And this is at the time where I, I, I really discovered, you know, enzymes. And when I started eating less or even training less or less intensively, I, I noticed like they, I'm not losing muscle. You know, I'm, I, I feel the same, you know, I, I don't need that. And now I think I'm down to like, a normal person's level of proteins, but I keep my muscle mass all the time, right? I and don't have to work hard. And the best thing with it is that my digest, and I don't take that like crazy amount of enzymes anymore. It's just pretty much, I take, so I take uh, four, four enzymes and two uh, P3OMs per meal, right? Major meals, that's it. And then when I have, let's say a bigger meal, I'm going to take a little bit more, like just to offset, but that's it. That's all I take. And I feel like, as you said, you know, waking up in the morning, not feeling sluggish, my breath, like things like that, that just like, okay, well, yeah, I thought it was part of aging, but I don't need to. 
right? Skin rash. I had, I remember like for a while. And because I said that, because I kind of, st I stopped after a while because I felt good. It was like, yeah, you know, maybe I'm not going to need that anymore or not as many. And I realized that, damn, you know, I need that. And I started taking back the mazimes and, and provide, and then it went away. It was a beauty, you know? So, you know, what would you prescribe? I mean, someone like maybe who was, who's maybe in my situation, let's say, or like, entering their, you know, mid thirties or forties and start to understand, like, you know, they feel like, okay, I'm not as energetic as I was. I realize that now that when I eat certain foods, I'm like, mm, it doesn't feel as much. I feel sluggish. I feel, uh, or even I don't sleep as well. You know, how, what, what would you recommend them to do or what would you prescribe them like, um, to start with? You know, to rebuild your entire digestive system is going to take you about three months. And you have to realize you got to this condition from whatever your lifestyle has been up to this point. And if you're living in, in the modern world, forget it. Your, your, your digestion is compromised to some degree. So what we've suggested and we, we put out uh, some, we have a really strong education at Bioptimizer. We show you how to do it. But you want to take somewhere between two and five um, masszymes before every meal. Maybe if you're, if you suffer from acid reflux or heartburn, add an HCL after the meal or an HCL cup is a hydrochloric acid cap because okay. it's acid mm -hmm. reflux and heartburn happen because for most people, because you don't have enough acid, not too much. The doctor will tell you you got too much acid. That's you need the acid to protect yourself from bacteria and parasites and things like that. Um, and it's in a defense mechanism as well as changing the pH and then two uh, P3OM probiotics. Take those with, with those meals. So whatever you take in mass time. So if you take four mass times, take two pre P three M's. If you take two, take yeah. one and do oh, that wow. for 90 days, every meal you, I got, we got little tins that we send out to you. You, you put the enzymes in there, you know, you just put it in your pocket. It's easy to convenient. Try that for a month, 30 days first, you know, 90 days is optimum, but try it for 30 days. If you don't feel better, have more energy, sleep less, feel that you don't have the stone in your stomach and all these things don't go away. Guess what? We just give people their money back. They go, you'll do that? I'm like, yes, we de-risk the entire thing. So people can say, hey, if you're not totally blown away and said this totally made a difference in my life, then that's great. Thanks for the experiment. Here's your money back. Go on to the next experiment. And we have the lowest refund rate of any supplement company I know in the industry. We have virtually no chargebacks. We have none of the things that so many entrepreneurs have to worry about because again, there's nothing that outperforms a great product with a great education system and great customer service. And so we built out all of those things to make sure that your experience with the company accentuate your life as opposed to being something that you feel you have that buyer's regret after, oh, I wish I didn't do that. Uh, I got wasted my money, all those kind of things that we worry about. We take all that away. It's, it, you know, that's the beauty of bioptimizers and, and, you know, for the values of the company, but backed with fantastic, the best products, period, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just can't now get enough of my myzymes and my P3OM. I've been, again, when I stopped, I, not I paid the price, but, you know, I felt the difference, a big, big difference. And uh, it's part of my whole, my kids, actually my kids take probiotics like the, the, the p3m probiotics every day they want it they just take it like that they chew it it's hilarious they just want the probiotic and they chew the probiotics and you know it's part of the ritual now I mean, it's part of, of of our lives same thing for korean she's been using them for years and you know the benefits have been fantastic so yeah take a look at your digestion folks like i mean it's not i know it's something as your younger person when you're young it's not something you really care about but trust me look into it and feel the difference and if you've been experiencing you know problem you know energy you're down on your energy you're not sleeping as well and you don't digest like feeling like really physically don't digest well guess what look into mazimes so go check it out epic.co forward slash mazimes uh we have a coupon too i think it's noon 10 uh, where you get ten percent off your uh, your order at buy up, but uh, you know, Wade, so glad to have you here. So glad to connect. So glad to that you know we cross paths and did business together and build you know did what we had to do with buy optimizers and remain great friends over the years. And watching you living your dream, my friend, is ultra inspired. Like it's so inspiring to see because 
I've known you and I know that it was your ultimate goal and now you're living it. You're, you're living the dream, my friend. And I'm so happy to see that. And I'm grateful to have you in my life, brother. Yeah, me too. And of course, um, I think that's, you know, to, just, just to say something to your listeners is, I mean, you've kind of carried on that tradition with your current business about helping entrepreneurs live their dream without ruining their life in the pursuit of some outcome. Because a lot of people will climb Success Mountain, they get up there and they lost everything and everybody on the way to get there and it becomes empty. And in today's world, there's no amount, there's always more to do. You can never get done. And, and as an entrepreneur, I think it's so important to build the systems, the structure, the culture and the lifestyle and the mission that you want as an entrepreneur. And I think it's so great. I, you know, I follow your podcast. I follow what you're, you, what you've been doing and teaching. And I think, wow, it's so great to see that because by optimizers is here today for that kind of strat strategic thinking that you implemented in our company. And we never would have made it without it. And I think there's a lot of entrepreneurs that won't make it, or if they do, they make the cost is higher than the benefit. And I think you found that balance and that sweet spot. So I think it's right back at you. I've been able to live the dream because of you. And it's great for you to help other people do that. So I'm so, so grateful. And I always will. Thanks. be. Thanks, brother. You know, I, when I think about it, and I thought about it today before the interview, and I was thinking about, you know, how, you know, Bob Optimizers re-optimizes uh, humans and your bodies and your vital functions. And I feel like we're doing the same thing at Epic with work. You know, we're optimizing work and with always the goal of offering sustainable solutions. And I saw like what, you know, the values or the things that happened that I really bought into when I was at Bioptimizers, you know, that, that carried on with what we do at Epic. So, you know, I think we have, we share a common mission and that's why I I love, you know, not only promoting by optimizers, but using by optimizers products and, and sharing by optimizers with everybody because it's such, it's so important. And the fact, and I know it when you said it, you know, you guys didn't pay yourselves for 10 years. It's true. <laughs> I mean, I was there when, when it happened, when I, I saw that, I was like, you know, you guys were so dedicated to the mission and such an important mission. And now it pays off. You know, we, we, that's what I want to bring back, you know, same thing for entrepreneurs with regarding work at Epic. So, you know, I'm happy that, you know, we cross paths and we shared these values and we're helping to helping to make the world, you know, humans better for humans, you know. So thank you, Wade. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I hope you're going to be back. I mean, we talked about digestion today, but, you know, that's what I love about you. You're a man of mold of many passions and a passionate dude about different things. And, you know, if we can have you back on the podcast, that would be, would be fantastic. Yeah. Our, 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 our brain optimization stuff is, is next level for entrepreneurs and it's the edge everybody's looking for. So we'll talk about that next time. I think, I think we're going to have you and Maddie G together on the podcast. Maddie G is going to come and talk about sleep uh, soon. Awesome. But uh, yeah. Because Matt is is in <laughs> he's a sleep he's a sleep he's a he might know more about sleep than anybody I've ever met. So the, yeah, he, that that's that's and Matt is very very deep. When Matt decides on going deep, <laughs> Matt goes deep. Yeah. If you think you're deep, he's deeper. And uh, yeah, he, he that, that's that's inspiring. And that's the same thing. Like my my sleep has been all messed up for you know for a while now i was like you know i need to find solutions so matt has been my main uh, source of uh, advice when it comes to to sleep so we have actually and, and i made really really great progress with that so we're going to share that with you guys but it would be fun to have you matt and we, uh you and matt back together uh together to talk about the all the the brain optimization products i i mean these pro i'm excited about this because these pro i mean they're sexy i just first of all the branding that you guys are bringing with that. I, I just, I love it. It's next level. And the products themselves, I mean, it's mind, it's mind blowing. <laughs> no pun intended. It's mind blowing. So I think, I think, you know, you, you really bringing optimization to a next level with these products. And I can't wait to, to share that with our, our audience. Wade Lightheart, thank you so much, my friend. Love you. And we'll talk soon. You are just listening to the Done by Noon podcast. If you are interested in hearing more, do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel. Click on the five stars or check out our free tools and trainings at donebynoonpodcast.com. Thanks again for listening and stay awesome. We'll see you next time.